Welcome to this introductory video that explains uh, franchise farming. So first, let me start by saying thank you for expressing interest in our franchise farming projects. Now, the essence or the reason why we are pushing this franchise farming right now is because we got uh, a contract to supply uh, habanero pepper. So the products we are going to all be working on in all of the different farms will be habanero pepper. Now, uh, the total supply available is actually a million tonnage. However, we do not now, for this whole one million tonnage, uh, a hectare will produce approximately 40 tons. So this would mean that the total land size needed is 25,000 hectares. But I am not going for the whole 25,000 hectares. So we want to just focus on production from in hundred hectares, which will give us about 4,000 tons. So we just want to focus on 4,000 tons produced from a hundred hectare of land. Now, as advertised, for the farm to work, there are two parts to this. So there is, uh, for lack of a better word, the investor's role and us, the farmer's role. Now, as the owner of the farm, you are to provide the funds for the farming activity. Now, what your funds will be used for strictly are, one, for those that do not have land, you buy your land. Now, let me state this clearly. I do not sell land. I do not sell land. So. You buy your land, so you can have that uh, in your budget. Number two is land clearing, the clearing of the land. Number three, land preparation. So under land preparation, that is where we do things like our harrowing, our plowing, and our ridging. So we are going to be producing the pepper on ridges. Now, it's important I point out at this junction that the reason why we are having land preparation, of course, is obvious that we are not going to be doing greenhouse farming for the whole 100 hectares. And the reason is because we understand that the setup cost for a greenhouse farm is quite high. For a greenhouse that would be on one hectare, you would be spending nothing less than 70 million naira. So we want to start as cheap as possible. Hence, we'll be doing open field. But, number four, the actual farm setup. So, although we are doing open field, we are going to be doing a whole lot of precision based agriculture on the open field. So, for example, your funds would also be used for the buying of mulching film, which will be used to mulch everywhere on the farm to ensure that we do not have to worry about wheat during the farming period. We are going to have irrigation installed on the whole of your farm so that whether it is rainy season or dry season, it does not matter. We can plant all year round or we can work all year round. We are going to have tanks as reservoir for water. We are going to have pumping machines. You are going to also, part of the farm setup, you are going to provide power. So a generator that can power the borehole pumping machine. All of these will be installed on the farm. Then we are also going to have farm accessories like your nutrients. So we are going to help you out. We are, of course, from the beginning, you would know how much nutrients we need. So everybody is going to get whomever it is that is interested based on um, the size of land. We will give you a proper budget so that you know what it is going to cost for all of these processes. We need you to know what it is going to cost for all of these processes. Then, the number five thing you are going to be paying for is for labor. Now, when we say labor, we are not talking about us as soilless farm lab, but rather we are going to employ hand labor, what's the word now, farm hands. Laborers that will be in charge of time for harvesting, they will harvest, time for planting, they will plant. They are the ones that will go around the farm to check. So we are not going to have as, much, uh, as many laborers as we would have traditionally in a one hectare farm. The maximum we are going to be having on the farm of one hectare, the maximum is eight. 
but the ideal is four people on the farm because they are not going to be in charge of anything like weeding and all of that. It's just ensuring that, oh, one or two oversights are not a proper, uh, managed properly. That is all. So this is all from the investor's part. On our part, number one, we are in charge of the management of the firm, management of the firm. So the laborers uh, talk to us, they, they get instructions from us. So uh, everything they do comes from us. The whole of the uh, land preparation, farm setup, all of that is done by us. Now, if you can do your land clearing and land preparation yourself, we have no issues with that. It will just be removed from your budget. So there is the management and this comes at no fee. So that is one. Then number two is soil testing slash profiling. So before you, we will start farming and all of that. Once we have agreed, we will come and profile your land, do the soil testing and all of that. Now the essence of that is we want to be sure the kind of agrochemicals manure that we are bringing into the farm. Then number three, on the farm, we are going to be using drone services for those who have a cluster of four to five hectares and above. We will be bringing in drone services so that it is easy for us to apply our fungicide, insecticide as the need arises. For the smaller land of an hectare two and all, we would use our motorized knapsacks. We'll be using the motorized knapsacks for spraying. Then number four is sales. We are responsible for the sales of all the produce that will come from the farm. Then number five, logistics. Movement of the produce from the farm to where it is needed. All of that is on us. So these are our different roles. Now, to understand a bit about the budgeting, a bit about the budgeting. So we we'll clear rush to the budgeting. So a bit about the budgeting again. I will do a table so that it's easy to follow. The budgets and expected returns. So on the budgeting, so again, there are three major parts. Land plus land preparation this varies from location to location so i cannot put a cost there the farm set up for one hectare so we have the farm itself so by the farm itself what i mean is things like our mulching theme our drip tapes our primary line hose our that means supply line pumping machine and all of that that is one two we have the seedlings, so by seedlings, we will buy seed, we will have nursery trays bought, we will buy cocoa peat, we will use for nursery and compost to mix. That is two. And number three, uh, what I like to call accessories. So under accessories, we have uh, things like your agrochemicals, we have things like, uh, under agrochemicals, we have your nutrients and your preventive, like fungicide, insecticide, and all. We are going to buy things like your farm boots, your crates. So the crates are the things we will use at harvest. Then of course we will buy things like weighing balance and all to weigh the products going out of your farm. Now, again, it's important I state that at the end of a cycle, all of these things belongs to you. They are not ours. All of these things belongs to you. Now, all of these things that I mentioned will not cost up to about let's say 12 million naira if you are budgeting about 12 million naira if you are budgeting for them now i realize i have not talked about the time the cycle so let me write it somewhere we'll talk about that then for the returns i said we would have twenty thousand plants on the farm the assumption is a plant should give me two kilogram in a calendar year period two kilogram now that would give me 40,000 kilo, we will buy from you at 400 naira, 
but we are selling at 500 naira. So at the end, you are getting 16 million naira returns from an hectare, or 16 million naira comes back to you from an hectare. So we are just getting 4 million naira for all our jobs paying for logistics and all of that. So I will quickly ex explain the cycle. Again, if you have further inquiries or questions, please feel free to reach out to us so that we can start as soon as possible. Now, a cycle. A typical cycle will run from 1 to 18 months at most. So I would explain why I said at most. So we have broken the cycle into three phases. So we have one to three months. My math is correct. Uh, the fourth month to so this is a this is a twelve month period. So make my math easy. This is a three month period. That's fifteen. Another three month period. Now this three month period at the middle is the planting to this is the whole vegetative phase where we plant the seedling to vegetative this 12 month period is harvest now the habanero we are going to be giving to or planting on all our farms are the types that you can harvest for up to two years for up to two years from the day we planted when you start harvesting you will keep harvesting for up to two years for those of us that know things about habanero, you know we have varieties you can harvest for up to three, five years. But we are going for the ones that the first two years your harvest is still very good. Now, these first three months allows for the land clearing, land preparation, nursery, and so on and so forth. Now, this, if all the funds are available from the beginning, this can take less than three months. But we start counting the actual 15 months from the day we start planting. And once we start harvesting, we have 12 months. And in that 12 months, we should have gotten 40 tons. And in that 40 tons, we are able to give you 16 million, while we get 4 million. So I will just quickly look at a few things that I feel a few of us may want to ask or have questions around. Number one, what happens if we get more than 40 tons harvest. What happens if we get more than 40 tons harvest? If the tonnage is more than 40 tons, we would have, we cannot come there. So it's either we have the agreement now or you want to discuss it then. Either one is fine. Once we get 40 tons out, the remaining one, if you say no, you don't want to continue, the contract is over. After that, what is remaining is yours, it is fine. If you say, okay, no, I want us to renegotiate our price then, we negotiate then. If you want us to negotiate at the beginning, we negotiate at the beginning. I hope that makes sense. That is one. Then number two, what if you have a buyer that can buy for way more than 400 naira that we are offering at the time we are ready to harvest? If you wish that, oh, maybe we are ready to harvest and you're like, ah, pepper is not expensive. As what he's telling you, bring your pepper, we'll buy at 2,000 naira per kilo. And you come to us, all you would need to do is we would allow you sell because that's why it's, we are working together. This is a partnership thing, we are working together. We want you to have the best of um, the farming experience. So if that happens, then all you need to do is you can take the 40 tons out of the farm, sell to whomever you want to sell. But remember that our margin on top was 100, 100 Naira. So 100 Naira in 40 tons will give about 4 million Naira. That should be paid back to us. I do hope that makes sense. So I'm not sure which other question we might have. Then of course, we are going to take care of the insurance and all of that for the farm. So uh, we will stop here. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out. If you, so I think another question that might come up is, what if you want one of your persons to join in the management? It is fine, as long as the person remembers that they are answerable to us. We call the shots on the farm. Oh, so I think another question that might come up, number three, 
what if you want to produce on your own? You want to produce it on your own, do the whole process on your own, so that we come pick up the pepper. Yes, that is acceptable. We are going to test. We will do our phytochemical analysis, our brisk nutritional profile on, the, on your peppers. If they are fine, we will buy them off. Still at the same price of uh, 400 naira. Still at the same price. And that the quality is good. Then number four is... What if you want us to fund it? That is, if you want us, the farmer, you have the land, you do not have the funds, and you want us to fund it. Now, if we are able to, if we agree and we are going to fund your process, then we are not going to buy your pepper at 50, 50 naira. Sorry, at 400 naira. Instead, we will buy your pepper at 50 naira per kilo. We are going to buy all your pepper at 50 naira per kilo if we are the ones providing the funds and at 50 naira per kilo it is the equivalent of renting out your one hectare for about two million naira a year which is which is still more expensive than whichever place you go out to rent a land so thank you you have questions please feel free to reach out you can reach us through our email or our office line 0901 486 5033. I'll type, I'll write that on the board. 0901 Thank you very much.